This is how to make a basic third-person character controller in Godot 3.1. Start with a new scene and create a kinematic body node. Name it character. Save the scene and create a collision shape node as a child of character. Give it a new capsule shape and in the transform tab, rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Then click on capsule shape and set the radius to 0.75 and the height to 1.5. After that, add a mesh instance as a child of character and give it a new capsule mesh. Rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis, then click on the small mesh preview window and set its radius to 0.75 and its height to 1.5. Next, create a new spatial node as a child of character and call it gun pivot. Then add a mesh instance as a child of gun pivot, call it arm. Give it a new cube mesh and set its size to 0.2 on the x and y axes and 1 on the z axis. Click on the gun pivot spatial node and move it up to somewhere above the head of the capsule. Click on the arm and under transform, enter negative 0.5 on the z axis to move it forward. This will be an arm that points forward so that you can tell that the character is facing the right direction. After you've finished, attach a new script and call it character.gd. Create a new variable called direction and have it be equal to a vector 3. Next, create a process function or a physics process function. Either one works, but only losers use physics process. Just kidding. Remember to type everything you see exactly as I have it written here. Under process, write direction equals vector 3. At the top left of the screen, click on project and project settings. Click on the input map tab on the top and under the tab is a box called action. Type move underscore forward in the box and click add. Do this as well for move underscore backwards, move underscore left, and move underscore right. Then click on the plus on the right, select key in the menu, and press the key you want to assign to the action. I use WASD, but you can use whatever keys you want, I won't judge. Do this for all four actions. Now back to coding. Under process, type if input dot is action just pressed, move forward, then direction minus equals transform dot basis dot z. For backwards movement, copy paste what you just wrote, change the if to elif, change move forward to move backward, and change the minus sign to a plus sign. Then copy paste the whole thing and change the move actions to left and right and change transform.basis.z to transform.basis.x. However, if you try to run the game as it is now, the character won't do anything and it isn't just because it feels depressed. We have to give the character instructions to actually move. Back in the script, write direction equals direction.normalized, then up top create a new variable called speed and give it a value of 10. Create another variable called velocity and make it a vector 3. Then you type velocity equals direction times speed. Next, up top create a new variable called acceleration and give it a value of 5. Type velocity.linear interpolate and in the parentheses velocity, comma, acceleration times delta. Then type move and slide and in the parentheses type velocity. Then type vector3.up to tell Godot which direction is up. This is useful for when you want to add gravity and jumping to the character later on, so ignore at your own peril. You can now move your character in any direction you desire, but you cannot aim with your mouse. To add this, go back to your script and create a new variable called mouse sensitivity. Give it a value of 0.1. Create a new input function above the process function and write if event is input event mouse motion, rotate underscore y, and in the parentheses, deg to rad negative event dot relative dot x times mouse sensitivity. Now, when you run the game, you can rotate your character horizontally using the mouse. For rotating vertically, create a new spatial node as a child of character. Call it pivot. Then add a camera node as a child of pivot. Move the pivot up to around where the head of the character is and slightly to the right. In the camera node under transform, set the z transform to somewhere around negative 5. Use the camera preview and tweak the settings until you get something that you like. Next, back in the script, create a new on ready variable called pivot and have it be equal dollar sign pivot. In the input function, write pivot.rotate x and in the parentheses, deg to rad minus event dot relative dot x multiplied by mouse sensitivity. Now you can rotate the camera vertically and horizontally using the mouse. One thing you'll notice is that if the mouse cursor goes outside of the game window, you can no longer rotate the camera. To fix this, go to your ready function and type input.set mouse mode and set it to input.mousemode captured. This will hide your cursor and keep it locked inside the game window so that you're always able to aim. In the input function, you can also write if input.isAction just pressed UI cancel or the escape key, then input.setMouseMode is set to input.mousemode visible to make it easy to exit the game. Another problem is that you can rotate the camera vertically to the point where it's upside down. To fix this, add a new line of code. pivot.rotation.x equals clamp pivot.rotation.x 
deg2 rad minus 90 and deg2 rad 90. Now the camera can look all the way up and all the way down but won't flip over and you can still rotate 360 degrees horizontally. Congratulations, you now have a basic third person character controller. As a bonus, I'll show you how to rotate the character's arm so that it's always pointing at what you're looking at. At the top of the script, create an on ready var called gun pivot and have it equal dollar sign gun pivot. Then in the input function, write gun pivot dot rotate x deg2 rad minus event dot relative dot x multiplied by mouse sensitivity and gun pivot dot rotation dot x equals clamp pivot dot rotation dot x deg2 rad minus 90 deg2 rad 90 and now the arm moves in the next video in this tutorial series i'll show you how to add gravity to your character and how to make them jump if you like the video like it subscribe it share it bell it and comment it thank you have a nice day